So today we're out on the range and it's a beautiful day, so please forgive the gunfire. It is uh, quite busy out here. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing a couple of budget buckshot rounds. Both of these are 12 gauge. They're two and three quarter inch and they are a, a nine piece double O buckshot. Now this one over here is a full house load. This is a uh, dram equivalent max. And uh, this one is actually a reduced power, reduced recoil load. Um, and so this is s and and this one is from Rio. And both of these are priced about the same right now. They're, they're quite affordable. I think we pick these up for around maybe 40 to 45 cents a round delivered, uh, which is quite good. So let's test these out and see how they do. And we're gonna be using a Mossberg M590A1. And this is the shorter 18 and a half inch barrel. So we're gonna be expecting that there's probably gonna be a little velocity reduction. So we will do a little chrono testing, but please bear in mind that uh, it will probably yield different results if you have a significantly longer barrel. So you can see here that the uh, S&B and the Rio are both kind of a high brass shell. And actually the low recoil uh, Rio actually has a little bit higher brass, but uh, both of them have the clear plastic hull. And I really like that. So you can see exactly what's in there. You know what's going on without having to read what is uh, written on the hull. And both of them have the flat top roll crimp type of uh, closure. And I really like that as well more than the uh, kind of traditional folded crimp at the top, so uh, quite nice there. All right, so here's some of our grouping. Um, this is the Rio low recoil 12 gauge. And again, this is the Rio low recoil 12 gauge. Um, these ones are really tightly knit together and uh, we just got one flyer. Um, and over here, we're a little bit lower. Um, it could be because I was just holding a little bit lower because uh, you can see our wad came down all the way over there. Um, so we've kind of got this like clustering of rounds, which is really not optimal. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's it's less than ideal. And then over here, we've got our S&B 12 gauge full house loads. I like this spread a little bit better. We've got less clustering of rounds with the exception of this one here. And uh, that's pretty good. And then the second set, uh, we are seeing a little bit more of that clustering. We've got a couple here. We've got a couple over here. Um, this looks like three maybe. So overall, you know, not, uh, not fantastic, but not bad at all. Now I'm going to go ahead and dissect a couple of these rounds. I just kind of want to see what each of the pellets weigh individually and uh, I also want to see what the combined total true payload is so that we can do an energy calculation. Alright, let's start by dissecting the Rio and then we'll kind of move on to the S&B in a moment. There's our guy. Uh, looks like one of those rounds weighs 61 grains, and that's uh, equivalent to roughly about a 32 ACP hollow point bullet. However, this is traveling significantly faster than a 32. And we've got a total payload of about 533.8 grains. And now for the S and B. And here we're at 55 grains on the individual. And a total payload of 493.2 grains. There's definitely a difference in the alloy composition. So on your left, we've got the Rio. And on your right, we've got the S&B. You can see that the Rio is a lot shinier. 
It also feels like it's probably a bit harder. The SMB is probably a little bit softer, more likely to deform when it hits, which is really not a bad thing, and probably maybe a little bit less likely to, to over penetrate. All right, so we're gonna chrono some of the Rio 12 gauge at um, really almost muzzle distance. Uh, let's see how we do, we're gonna do five shots. 1124 12.02 12.03 11.31 11.31 11.83 All right, now we're gonna do the S&B 12 gauge buckshot. Error. 1133. 1106. 12.33. Oh, there's. All right, let's try uh, 25 yards and see if we get anything on that plate out there. Um, we're gonna do the Rio first and the S&B second. Let's try the Rio at 100 yards, just to see how far it spreads out, see if we can get any contact on that plate. All right, so overall, I was really quite happy with the results of both of these. Um, I mean, for the price that we're talking about here, I mean, neither one of these are really high-end, super expensive, but both of them ran very reliably. They seem to provide consistent results, although I've got to admit that the chrono testing on this uh, SMB seemed a little skewed, and frankly, I think it was unrealistic. I think there was a lot of errors going on. I was probably getting quite a bit of debris being that this is a little bit hotter load. Probably what I need to do is just move that chrono out a little bit farther to get some better consistency. Um, although, you know, I usually like to try and keep it as close as possible so I know what my true muzzle velocity is. But either way, uh, both of them are really good solid performers and I would not hesitate at all to have these in my shotgun for personal protection. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you again next time at Attica Armory.